Okay, guys, so the time has come. It's one of Cornwall's most notorious coastal paths, St. Ives to Zena. I'm going to be walking there, grabbing a lift back off Mum. It's a legend, thank you, Mum. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. Now, I promise you all a surprise. Stay tuned and you'll, uh, you'll get to see it pretty quick. Let's do this. It's a super lovely day today. Really nice to get out on the trail when it's not pissing down with rain. So, I think we're gonna have to lose the jumper. Just showing you here. Don't know if you can see that as well as I am. It just shows you how bad this trail is on deep, deep rainfall. So this here is the second cove in. I'm literally just approaching the third. Go on the bridge there, high guy. Up here, you keep heading around. There's about five of these that you got to do before you get to where you need to be. Just saw me put some sun cream on there. So we're literally just about to come up to the hilliest bit, which is this bit behind me. You climb up here and up and around this. Doesn't look a lot on the camera, but I'll show you a view from when we're at the top. This is probably the worst bit on the whole trail, so we'll have a look. As I was saying earlier on the trail, the um, this trail is really known for flooding. And if you can see it there, so the water runs from the top of the trail all the way down to me and from down this hill up here. On this trail you've got to be careful. There's one section which is here as you can see. There's uh, electric wires. Whether they're live or not, I have no idea. I've never tested them. Neither from my gunny. <laughs> but yeah, you got one here, and then you got one further down the trail. Just make sure you put them back on. Bandy. You can see the trail goes off down here. Alright, so they, this is the way back to St. Ives if you wanted to go back now. Lovely views. down again for another massive descent I'm going down here I'll film it so you can see it let's do it
one too. Hit below the land where the cows and stuff are. You're gonna hit another one. Just to help you know that you're going the right way. There are so many different terrains. You can see this here, it's just massive boulders. You can still kind of see the trail coming down. It's a little bit more difficult on parts like this. But always look ahead. You can see it picks up there so you can run your route back. I don't know if you can see it, zoom in a little bit. You got a path here, you got a path up here. If you're going to Zena, this is the one you want to take. This one also takes you to Zena. It's going to drop you right down around the peak. If you want to get the mainline Zena, head up this trail here. So much easier. Okay, guys, we are getting to the end of this trail, which is lovely because it's really warm. I uh, really hope you've enjoyed this one. A lot of time and effort's gone into this. Massive thank you to Scott again. This video wouldn't be the same without your footage, mate, so really appreciate that. And um, be, be sure to tune in as there's going to be a lot more footage like that, hopefully. I'll have with Scott again. Um, he really enjoyed it as well, I think, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this walk and I'll uh, finish the video with a couple of little views over some hours. Cheers guys. Thank you.